guys, this is FFAN16, and welcome to another craft corner where we are doing a pillar bead art of Anjuamon. She is Godamon's next evolution, and the colors you see before you are what we're going to be working with tonight. We've got an assortment of blues. Uh, this blue here show you quickly all the colors and then I'll put them to the side. I'm going to probably have more colors than I need just in case so I'm not grabbing. Of course our standard white and black always a must. The tan color for any um, body features and she finally has pink so I'm able to use some of my pink coloring which would be great not used any of my poor pinks yet and then just some more grays to help do some of the accents now again any of the images I use will be in my source in my description below for you to find the original art if you'd like to try this yourself or go and see where I get my inspiration from so we're gonna get started like usual I'm gonna try to do the outline sorry if I'm hitting uh, we're gonna try to do the outline and I will speed up quieter sections and we'll go from there so hope you guys enjoy and let's start another crafters corner okay we're gonna start off with our blacks of course so we can do our outline I'm gonna make sure you can see the whole board I'm gonna try with the outline first because I always find it's easier just to try to do the outline and it looks like the majority of this outline is going to be black which is gonna be great so I'm just gonna get all these other colors out of the way so we can focus on our, our black Thank you. 
right, guys, this looks to be the outline done. I'm gonna just see if I can um, work my way from bottom to top. I'm gonna see if I can get her a little bit better into the shot if I can. So I'm just gonna angle it a little bit like that. Hopefully it doesn't throw me off. If it does, I might just have to move it a little bit. So she's a lot smaller than I thought she was going to be, but that is fine. Um, she's gonna be one of my smaller medium sized ones. So let's get started filling it in. I'm gonna have to start off with some whites and it looks like I do need some reds. So just give me a second. So the red looks like it's only like really, really quick. So I brought it in. Uh, some white and some light blues to start. Unfortunately, this is about the gist I have, unless I want to go really pink skin color. I don't I don't know if I want to do that, because I might need this pink for something else. I don't know. Maybe we'll change it up. I don't think I need this pink pink. Like... No, I don't need the super light pink, so maybe we'll use the dark browner for something else. Honestly, it's probably okay, I hope. Okay, now all my colors are coming into play a bit. do this other wing since I've got the colors out. Now it's light pink for the majority of this side. So we're gonna start with that. Difficult, but we got her. We got her. There's a lot of different um, colors in this one. Okay, I don't really want to do the blues yet. Not until I've done all the reds, because I need to get all these reds and pinks and stuff out of the way. And I think I'm done with the red reds. So I'm just going to get all the dark stuff that I don't need out of the way. Just clean up some space. Uh -uh. 
the yellows just don't want to let go. Let go, yellow. That's supposed to line up, but it doesn't. We might just stop filling in this part and keep moving our way up because I hate when it doesn't match. Okay, let's follow this from this wing here, from here, and see where we go. We may have to push it up a bit. right here. It's almost like my body needs to move up a little bit more. Uh -oh. And you make a mistake and you correct it. That's all you can do. be skin color, white, black, blue, three black. Okay, yeah, yeah, just got that wrong. All right, no, I think we fixed it now. I think we're good. So, I think I got like one more pink color, which I can leave one dark pink out for, but the rest is whites, blues, and tans. So we're going to get rid of the pinks now. Thank you, pinks. You've served your purpose. Uh, I do need a little bit of skin color, so I'm going to keep that. Grays look like they're in there a little bit. I want to do my blues. I think I'm done. I just need a couple more yellows. So how many yellows too? We'll just need two yellows and we're good with the yellows. Excellent. All right, let's start on the wings. I might switch some of these out for white. We'll see if this is too much blue when we're done. a lot more blue here but I think it's gonna be oversaturated with blue so I'm gonna take an executive pin and just go a little bit more white a row. I always, I seem to be missing rows all the time. Silly Billy me.
Let's take a look and see if we need more blues. No, I think that looks okay. I will need my whites and my light blues, but not my dark blues. Well, a couple of my dark blues. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. Need about three. And keep them nearby. Gonna need gray soon. As her helmet has gray in it. So let's work over here now. Guys, let's see what that looks like, shall we? Actually, I don't mind the brown. Let me just clean up and we'll see how that looks. Actually, the brown doesn't look too bad. All right, let's just clean up the mess and we'll get a good look at her. Alright guys, there you go. That is the completed Anjouamon. I'll let you take a look there. And we'll get her taped up. The next part will be us melting it together. So let's get her taped. We got a messed up bead here. See it? We're just gonna fix that sucker. Don't. Okay. And just make sure all your beads look decent. And we're gonna start cutting our way now. I like to use my trusty knife. It's easier. Please be careful. We're gonna open her up. Make sure you close it up. Be safe. 
And she's all ready for melting. And I will get her melted and we'll see how she turns out to be. Okay, so after you get it melted, you do want it to cool down a little bit before you start peeling away the um, the plastic layer that you use for melting. Now, uh, we're gonna give it a couple minutes and then we'll peel it away and I'll give you a look at what she looks like. guys there you go I'm gonna give you a, a look here this is the non melted side of Anju woman and then we'll turn her around and that is the melted side of her again I personally prefer the non melted side but to each their own design preference She's a bit hot, so I will let her cool before I put her up with the rest of my pillar bead art. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you'd like to see a certain Digimon being done, and as long as I have the colors to do it, or any Final Fantasy, Kingdom Heart characters, I also like doing them as well, please leave me a description down below. If not, I'll pick the next one, and we'll have another relaxing pillar bead art session. Thanks so much for watching, like, sub, leave that comment, and as always guys, happy gaming!